You're learning with me on this one. I have never touched this tablet before, despite how broken it is. And yoink. Now this thing does have a memory. We know that as a fact. It just only shows what you can uh, pull out of it based on how much EMC we've got. So, if I put the Kleinstar in this side first, and then I throw this in here, it charged it. It charged it by a million. All of that EMC is now in the Kleinstar. So, let me grab some pipes. Let me grab some pipes indeed. We're breaking this much earlier than I anticipated. Give me the wrenches. And if I could just borrow this for a second, the item cable, I know... I don't want to know how I'm flying right now, considering I didn't put any EMC in my inventory there. But if I don't, I don't even need to put this in one of those condensers anymore. What I can do instead is I can go over to the transmutation tablet. I can drop it in here as an item learned, and then I can just pull out as many as I need. It's slow going, but it's there. This thing is so much more powerful, and it's so much cheaper. Why didn't we make this to begin with? So if I put this back in place, just to check, this thing is still receiving items. Yep, nothing broke there. This thing is still killing things. Yep, slow going is all hell, but it's still killing things. Let's grab the cardboard boxes from here, and excuse me for a second while I borrow not only this condenser, but this energy collector, and uh, the glowstone on top of it. Now all I have to do is, uh, hmm, let me move this chest over, hold on. Eh, you know what, that's fine for now. Uh, right, let's grab the condenser, which is this, no, it's this one here for some reason now. And that's it, give me that. And then let's grab the collector, which we can put there. So give me that. And then let's quickly just move this on over. So um, give me that. And then we can put the final one, the glowstone, on top there. So give me that. Uh, the, 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 uh, let me turn this around. Then all I have to do is I grab the item pipes. Like, no, don't pipe into there. Wait, no, can this thing not accept transfers in? No, that would destroy my plan. No, please. This thing's got to accept internal transfers. That's not what I was trying to do in the slightest. And I don't know why you think it is. Why would I ever want to do that? Good, it can. Okay. Now I've just got to make sure it's the correct type. No, that's output. No, we don't want to output. We want to input. We want to input. So if I... No. 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 And then I set this to output. Maybe? No. Uh, why will it accept output but not input? There's got to be a way I can break this. Alright, plan B. Okay, so if we type in at create, I want to make a andesite funnel which requires dried kelp and dried kelp is regular kelp in a furnace do we have kelp i could have sworn we did because i used it to make conveyor belts how are we out of there we are got some in my inventory we've got three thankfully that leaves one over for us to dupe later on but for now give me. So, this conveyor belt is designed to make precision mechanisms, however this one was designed purely to transfer rotational power, however, that doesn't mean that it is its only use. What I can do is, I can parkour my way on top, like this, and I can set it up so that at the end of this, there's an andesite, no, I can set it up, no, <sighs> whatever, what? There we go. I can set it up so that there's an andesite funnel. If I do this, then... No! And then I stick the funnel on this, like so. I can then take this. I can... I can repackage this. That could have been bad. And what I can do then is I can take the transmutation tablet and stick it on the other side of the funnel. Now, if I make sure that this is set to input and not output... Not set to anything right now. But it should input things. So now, if I drop block of diamond on the conveyor belt, keep an eye on the EMC number. Watch as it just slowly comes in down there. Oh, 
Oh, they must have thought about this. I reckon they've hard-coded it so you can't auto-input to the transmutation tablet. That won't stop us in the long run. That will not stop us in the long run at all, but it does put a crimp in our plans. Let's just make one final check to see if perhaps it's just the way the funnel's moving. Yep, nope, it's a hard-coded limit. Unless... So like I said, this thing is designed to make precision mechanisms, and we all know what precision mechanisms are used for mechanical arms. Let's quickly make one of these, shall we? After all, it's not like any of this is hard. Let's go make it. Right then, so, in order to make a mechanical arm, we need the precision mechanism and brass. Oh, it circles right back around. I didn't notice we need brass. Well, then maybe we can exploit it, but we can't figure that out until we've already gotten ourselves a charged... Kleinstar. So for now, it will have to remain unbroken. You have my word, it will not stay that way. But for now, it's gonna have to. Alright, either way, give me these blocks of diamonds. We need to... We need to up our EMC intake. Ah, oh, yep, yeah, this is definitely the quickest way of going about things. Jesus Christ. Okay. Is that thing full yet? Surely it's not that greedy, right? Now it's full, I think. I genuinely don't know. Let's add another stack just to make sure. It's full. Gimme. Right then, so, now that we have a fully charged Kleinstar Omega, there should be nothing stopping us from completing our mining goal of getting brass. Ooh, diamond. Ooh, dimensional shards. Ah, another one for the filter. Just straight up dirt. Okay, let's, uh... Let's add that very quickly, there we go. No dirt allowed. It is dirty and stinky and we do not allow it. Ooh, it's petrified. Hello. You know, I, re I learned recently that zombies have a coward stat. Um, if you're going to beat them, there's a chance that they'll call in reinforcements, depending on like a random RNG type of their spawning thing. Uh, which is pretty interesting. Glad to know that even in the, uh, a video game, people can't just uh, beat you by being good, they have to cheat and call in reinforcements. Am I right above diamond? I feel like I'm right above diamond. Did I get a glimpse of that correctly? Yes, I did. We're right above diamond. Hey ho. You know, I've got all the diamond in the world, and yet I still find it incredibly satisfying when I find diamond out in the wild. It's just one of those pleasures that never really goes away, you know? Ah, finally, a new one, gravel. Yeah, we don't take kindly to that kind around here. Let's just quickly filter out that gravel. There we go. And then let's just get rid of it. Sorted. I feel like I'm at the wrong Y level. I, I, I haven't come across any zinc or copper so far. I feel like I'm at the wrong Y level. What Y level does copper spawn at? Copper ore spawns anywhere between 30 to 60, and I am at 12. Oopsie daisy. Uh, and let me see. What does zinc spawn at? Uh, 30 to 60, and also 30 to 60. We, we need to go much higher. Ooh, diamond. Hello. <laughs> That's strange, there's a waste in all the way out in the middle of the ocean. I've never seen that one before. Oh, that's mine, I'm an idiot. Of course I've never seen it before, it's not naturally spawning, I put it there. Oh, for God's sake. Oh, clay, that's an interesting one. Although that does mean I'm getting closer to the surface than I'd like. Anywhere between 30 and 40, did it say? 30 and 60? Okay, so anywhere around this level. Let's, let's stick to 40. Let's stick to 40. Oh, right there, we've got copper. Okay, we're at the correct Y level now, thankfully. Okay, clay, it looks like, is definitely gonna have to be one I'm gonna filter out. What the hell is nitre? And rather, what is it used for? You can use it to craft gunpowder, which is interesting. Another way of getting that naturally. Uh, f fitro grow? Or phytro grow? Which is the uh, f fertilizer. A uh, nitre dust, block of nitre, which ooh, doesn't look that bad, actually. And that's about it. Okay, so it's kind of useless. But don't tell it I said that. I don't want to hurt its feelings. Yeah, okay, let's quickly just swap these out. So, there we are. Nine, eight, seven. There we go. And let's just put in... Gravel's already in the filter, so I don't know why I have that. Let's put clay in the filter. There we go. Chuck all of the clay out. All right then, so zinc is this weird yellowy block. Yeah, we've got 43 zinc. We're not running out of this anytime soon. We've got nearly a stack of copper. We're okay. We're gonna do fine. Brass. Yeah, we're we're not in so we're not in shortage of that anymore. Um, 
I, I've solved a brass drought in one, uh, or I guess several hundred quick and easy, not so easy, steps. Now, one thing that's interesting me is this stellarite. I've seen a couple of these pieces around. In fact, we've, we, we have just a couple in a bunch of random chests. Yeah, I thought so. It's used to craft the Eternal Stella, which is basically uh, just it, it just gives you the ability to make tools unbreakable. Now, obviously, we are quite a few steps out from being able to do that, mainly because the Eternal Stella requires just um, just a ton of stuff that we don't have. Let me let me let me look at the recipe again. Let me look at the recipe again. Yeah, vibranium and all the muddy. Actually, hold on. Vibranium, all the modium. We could craft ourselves an Eternal Stellar if we wanted to. That's pretty powerful at this stage. So what I'm going to do actually, I'm just inspired by looking through these backpacks. I just have a ton of stuff mixed in here together. I think if I turn this backpack here into the dedicated ores backpack, just so I know where everything is. I think that'd be a lot better for organization. So let's just quickly click all of this over. And then let's have a look back in this one. There we go. We've got 19 blocks of gold in here. We've got some golden apples still. That's interesting. Uh, oh yeah, I have Jesus' reinforced jewel pants of latent magic. I don't tell him I stole them, otherwise he will delete me from existence. Uh, but, you know, I just have those there. Uh, let's see, we've got some tin... Some source gems, that's, that's always interesting. Some arcane crystals, some redstone, uh, some charged Sirtis quartz, some more ex-petrified orbs, some runes. Uh, molten cores don't really count. Netherite scrap definitely does. Uh, what else have we got? What else have we got? What else have we got? Um, Phantom membranes doesn't really count as a gem. So I think we're... No, that's not what I was trying to do. Isn't there a button to, like... Organize this stuff. What's the organizational button? Hang on. Okay, it's one of three buttons. It's either this one. It was that one. Okay. First try luck. Bushakaya. Uh, so if I just hit this, there we go. It should organize itself now. Uh, no extra gems. Right, this backpack's safe. Um, now let's look into this backpack here. And then... Uh, God, which one of these was mine? Is it this one? I think it was this one. So let's have a look in this one. There we go. Let's hit this to organize it all. That's it. Do we have any gems in here? We've got Aquamarine. I'll count that as a gem. We've got Brass. We've got Brass. This whole thing was an adventure to get Brass. And we already had it on us. Okay, I can be normal about that. Excuse me while I, um, go and jump out of a window. Right, so, let's just put our inventory back into place. Let's store all of the gems into this backpack here. Da -da 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 -da, there, and that one there, there we go. And put the X petrified up there with it. Right, so, well, I mean, I guess it was good for us to go out of our way to get the ingredients for some more brass, because that out 16 will carry us for the rest of our careers. Wow, that's kind of irritating. I spent all of this time trying to get brass, and I just had it on me, and I couldn't see it. This is why we need to upgrade our storage system. But for now, I actually need to figure out how to get out of here and get back to my waystone. Right then, so now that we're back at Guy's view, let's just quickly hop into bed to skip the night, because I... I don't want to deal with these mobs any more than I have to. Okay, so, what were, why did I want brass to begin with? I know I needed brass to make the precision mechanism to make the mechanical hand so that I could exploit the transmutation tablet so that I could quickly charge my Klein star so that I could go mining. But why did I need to go mining? What was I trying to do? I... I've completely lost track of everything I was trying to- Oh, the tree farm! Yes! Okay. I remember now. So, I needed the- uh, I needed to go mining so that I could get the resources to build something from the create mod. What was it? It was the deployers, that's it. And I needed the brass for the hand. Okay, so we've got to flatten- in fact, we don't have to flatten anything, we've got 13 brass sheets right here. If we just go back up to the computer, we should be able to just make a bunch of hands. Right, and so we've already got the andesite alloy in here. 
So that's boding well so far. All we've got to do, click on the brass hand, shift click there. Let's, let's actually put those together. That's it, we've got one hand. And then if I do this, we've got two hands. And then, ooh, we ran out of andesite alloy. Not good. Thankfully, that's something easy to craft, something that we don't actually have to put much effort into. All it is is some iron nuggets, and we have iron aplenty. There we go, so let's just drop those in there. And now if we do da, 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 and da, that's just enough brass sheets left over for one last hand. So let's craft that now. There we go, that's the final hand, and that's enough to get us three deployers. That's nowhere near enough. And it's, uh, we're running out on both ends, both of andesite alloy and of the brass. So let's grab some iron, turn them into iron nuggets so we can get more andesite alloy, and then let's press down the rest of this brass so that we have enough plates for the hands. 